It's like plug and play, dude. One yeah. plug. Obviously, we'll do the fin final tuning, the final tightening. A uh, big day. Why is it a big day? Yeah, it's a big day because I'm installing a Shark Demon headlight for the Lowrider ST. One of the first out there that have been waiting uh, for them. I finally got it going over to John's to install it. It's because John installed quite a few on his road glide and his buddy's road glide and he's familiar with it. It should be easy. It's a plug and play. But I'm excited, I'm gonna let John do all the work and I'll do all the filming. Stay tuned, I'm riding over to him. So I am here at Mr. Cycle Fanatic's place. We're gonna be installing the, yeah, yeah, we're installing this. You know this, this thing? We just got this. Let me see that. Custom Dynamics Shark Demon. Wait a second, I'm making a video over here. Wait a minute, dude. No, look, look, look at this, look at this. Shark Demon going on the Lowrider ST, one of the first ones out there. Finally got hands on it and we're gonna be installing right now. Let me do a little session over here of before and after like you always like to see it. So it is extremely hot. It's gonna be over 100 today, I believe. I'm gonna swap into my my shorts so you can make fun of me and we're gonna I'll take the bike into John's little garage over here. I'm gonna work. It's gonna be too hot outside. This is gonna be a install video. I'm gonna be try to be. I'm gonna try to make it uh, as descriptive as possible. I really enjoy that. I know you guys enjoy the step by step. So here we go. Gregos is in the garage. It is steaming hot over here. Hopefully John will hear my prayers well, and me, turn on the AC. On <laughs> Thank you. You heard my prayers. Anyway, we're gonna start with look. This is what we need to do. The first thing, basic thing is remove the fairing. Easy peasy, six bolts, T27s, if I recall, but they are T27s, yeah. And over here, they're T29s, T29s, and that will take off uh, the outer fairing, right here, the outer fairing, and uh, the uh, the windscreen. I'm not gonna show you how to do it. It's, it's easy, come on, it's easy. You know what, maybe I will. <laughs> <laughs> As always, from the, from the end and finish up over here, because these two support. Last one, and it's off. Taking out all, all the bolts that hold the fairing. One over here, that's the T27, I think, or T29. Two and three, right over here. Both sides, same thing. One, two, and three. Now, once you get those bolts out, the whole fairing comes out. Make sure when you take the fairing off to disconnect the wire connections in the back and cover your fender with a rag or something so you don't scratch your uh, precious fender right there. Windshield off, windshield off six yeah, bolts. Six bolts, now you're gonna take the windshield off. I mean, sorry, it's not, yeah. not too hard, right? I never, I never no, think. not at all. Not at all. Oh, I'm it's coming off now? Yeah. I might need to over here. Just disconnect. You want to try Wait, one plug, you see? Look. Oh, that's it. One oh, plug. Okay. Right there. One plug. That plug comes off. And that's it. Put it. Uh, That's it. The bang. Over here, right? Over there. Nah, someone's gonna open the door. Uh, and... All right, now it's uh, all open. Oh, you took the headlight out already? Right? No. Oh, the headlights in there. Yeah. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. So now uh, you can work on it. Now that I think about it. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Let me unbox this. First time seeing it, actually. I know that John John has done quite a few of these installs, so he probably knows the uh, the specifics. Yeah, but this, this is totally, this, totally different. Yeah, it's than a different the because the bracket here is very, is uh, made for the ST. So it's not just this by any generic uh, Shark Demon. It has to be specific for your bike. This one has the proper bracket ready made. It has instructions that you're probably going to read. And uh, 
Sticker, yeah, those stickers. And this is pretty cool, actually. Look at this. Oh, that looks so nice, nice, huh? Yeah, very nice. Beautiful. Uh -huh. Look at that. It's got a. It's like plug and play. Dude. One yeah. plug. Yeah. That's it. It's just a matter of getting, how it should be. getting the bracket, the bracket in. Let me tell you, this is DOT approved. That's the thing. Let's yep. put it on. You have the uh, harness. There's a harness in it. Yep. You got yeah. the plug. You got everything. Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure if you're supposed to take to take the full fairing off. I think you do it to make life easy to get the other to get the other light off. But it's you've seen it's two seconds to take it on and off, and I get easy. You know, easy access to everything over here, so. Okay, I read the, the instructions. They definitely want you to remove remove the fairing because we need to come in from the back no matter what. So remove this, uh, this ring, the ring of death that always falls. This comes off. And then the three bolts that hold in, hold the, the OEM lamp on, need to come off and this whole thing comes off. Well, it's the Torx after all. Yeah, and it's the Torx 27 after all. Take the head, the three bolts that hold the headlight lamp in. There's no nut on the other side, so it's just... So now all three screws in this case are out, and this just pops out. Simple, huh? Now let's go to the install. Okay, next step is the, they want you to use this base plate, the round base plate. That is supposed to go right here to cover this. Now, I'll just remind you that the previous light had only three screws. So uh, use three screws in the provided places and the fourth, fourth uh, screw, there's actually no hole ready for it. So you need to drill the fairing over here. So I'll put one, two, three with these screws, then I'll drill a hole in the fourth one, which is on the left, bottom left, and drill, drill that into the fairing and then use the screw that they provided. Let me be more clear. You see the stock comes with one, two, and three holes in the fairing itself. So you use the OEM, the stock uh, screws to bolt them in. And then here, there's no hole on the fairing the other side. So need to drill that and then use a screw and bolt, sorry, a bolt and a nut that they provide. So let me put this in and then drill this. Obviously, I didn't bother mentioning it, but you want to have the custom dynamic logo on the bottom, okay? That's how it's positioned. Yes, I always read directions. <laughs> no, no, I usually don't, that's true. Uh, but this one, yeah, it's a, actually, it's very easy, John. It's just putting that plate on. It's just one plug. There you go. Okay, you see all three are in? All three are in at this stage. And now all we need to do is get the fourth one, which is part of the kit. I'm gonna drill that in and put the bolt and nut on the other side. Instructions, this is the bolt that we're using, the Allen bolt, and that's gonna go in. It's like to secure this whole plate because the original has only three bolts. That's it. Yep, and now all we do is uh, bolt it in. That's all, just to get a, a more secure, a, a, a better grip over there. So now we've got all four, all four, three screws, one bolt held in place, holding this plate up. Next step, next bracket. Okay, next step, we're gonna uh, connect the actual headlight itself to the bracket, mounting bracket. There are two bolts on each side, and uh, obviously the uh, inner or the outer bolts here are, are the ones that you fine tune where the light is gonna, is gonna be heading. So, Larry put over here, and they provide four bolts uh, right over here, and we'll just put them in very soon. That's pretty easy, you know? Very simple. Four, four bolts, literally. They made it very simple. It's nice, can't wait to see it. Obviously we'll do the fin final tuning, the final tightening once it's, once it's on the bike.
So it seems like the way they designed it, which is pretty smart, the inner, the inner bolts uh, that hold the mount, you can actually, that hold the weight, you can tighten them really hard, you can install it. The outer ones can keep uh, rather loose, and then once, yeah. once, yeah, once it's on, yeah, very good. So once it's on here, you can actually reach the outer, the outer bolt, which is the one that you can reach uh, with a reach, wrench. Reach with the wrench without moving the whole fairing off. So that's how you uh, make it a little bit looser, move like uh, adjust the height of the, of the light, and then tighten the outer again. <laughs> you need John tight. Wooden tight. Psycho fanatics tight. Wooden tight. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. So now. Yeah, flip it over it. so I can show. I can show what. So we tightened oh, like. Badass. Yeah, and John tightened the inner, yeah. the inner bolt, and now we have access to the outer bolt wrench, once we got with the with open wrench, and then we can decide how, uh, how the tilt and then close this. it. Now this, now this harness came with. The package, the kit, that'll plug into the light. Gotcha. And then this will plug into the OEM connector. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So that let's uh, so let's connect it. Yeah. Let's put it together. Okay. Ah. Oh, oh. So good. Ah. Oh, yeah. Dude. <laughs> oh my God. That looks so good. Okay. Bolts on. Here we go. Guys, this headlight, Shark Beacon from Custom Dynamics, looks so good <laughs> on the Lowrider ST. I agree. We just got it installed. Um, and if you guys want a install, like a specific detailed install video. Step by step. Step by step, check out Holy Shift, Sandy's channel. I'll leave a link down below in the video description. And also the links to the light um, will be also in the video description and make sure you reach out to me if you guys want a shark demon for a road glide. That looks sick, dude. That looks killer. And it's not even installed oh, completely yet, huh? It looks so good. I love it. It totally changed the look of the bike. Of course. It looks yeah. so sporty. I have actually on my video, I'm going to have a comparison before and after oh, okay. with the lighting itself at oh, night. Nice. At night. Dal wants one of these. Really? Yep. For his brother. <laughs> there you go. You need these four bolts? Uh, Working with custom dynamics, you know? Yeah, very easy. Very nice. Why is the light so long? No. What is that? I don't know that song. Is it something? Oh, an Instagram thing? And we are done. Let's take the bike out. It was a simple Literally a simple install. I did it pretty much myself, except for John drilling in that hole for nah, me. Nah, nah, nah. I did. I nah, did nah, more nah, than that. Nah, nah, nah. Made you coffee. Well, there breakfast. you go. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're going. Uh, take. Let's take the bike out and show you what it looks like.
that's it. Um, outside, taking the bike out. I want to show you uh, before and after when I install the Shark Demon. There you go. That's the light. The low beam. And that is the high beam. Low beam. High beam. Low beam. Now I'm further away. But this is what it looks like. Uh, low beam. These are the high beams. It's, it's pretty good lighting. I wonder, I wonder what the, the shark demon is going to be. Okay, and we're back. It's about a week, maybe 10 days later. I try to come out pretty much the same uh, darkness. I think it's not as dark as last time, but I got to wake up early tomorrow. So this is with the shark demon. Same distance away. Let's see what we got here. Okay, first of all, I can see that this light I actually uh, is aimed a little bit lower. It's wrong. High beam. Low beam. High beam. And low beam. Let's, now I'm going to pull a little bit further back. This is where it was last time, right here. Low beam. This is high beam. Okay, look at the sides as well. We'll compare it later. Low beam. Obviously, it's uh, it's tilted a bit uh, low compared to what I remember it was last time. And high beam. That's about it. And while we're at it, might as well. Oh, it looks really cool. I got to see this. Can you see this? Look how many lights I got over there. That is actually very cool. That is so, so cool. Let me put the high beams on as well. Christmas tree, huh? That is blinding, that is literally blinding. So that's it guys, I have links down below by the description for all, uh, what all, for those lights. For the Shark Demon light, for the Lowrider ST. And there's other two lights over there that I haven't talked about yet. I'll drop that video very soon. Anyway, links down by the description where you can pick up the Shark Demon. Just got it in now. I'm Sandy, hope you enjoyed this one watching holy shift till the next video guys peace out